Hello everyone. Here we continue talking about compound interest applications. Quick review. That's what we have about compound interest. The formula looking for future value. Alternative format looking for present value. Example one. Find the principal that will amount in six years to seventeen thousand seven hundred and fifteen dollars sixty one cents at a ten percent annual interest rate compounded annually. Basic information we have this number should be considered as future value. We have the word to it happened in the future. And we have periodic interest rate 10% since interest being compounded annually. For six years, our compounding period would be six. We put them in the formula looking for present value. Turn out the answer is $10,000. If you use calculator, here is exactly the way how you operate your calculator. Please pay attention. Here we have an exponent button yx on your calculator, and we have a number sign button on your calculator. You can also write this in different format as a division. In this case, you don't have negative exponent, and you can operate this way from your calculator as well. Example two: find the present value of. Six thousand eight hundred thirty-six dollar fifty-six cents due in nine years at six percent compounded quarterly. Again, the basic information: six thousand eight hundred thirty-six dollar fifty-six cents is future value. Periodic interest rate would come from six percent divided by four, since interest is compounded quarterly. For nine years, we have compounding period counted by quarter. Four times nine give us thirty-six quarters. Put information into the formula properly. Make sure pay attention. Here we have negative exponent since we're looking for present value. So the present value is four thousand dollar. Here show you calculator operation again, and also you can have different format. Example three. What principal will amount to five thousand dollar seven years from today if interest is four point eight eight percent compounded monthly? Clearly, we have five thousand dollar as future value. Periodic interest rate four point eight eight percent divided by twelve, since interest is compounded monthly. Compounding period for seven years multiplied by twelve, we have eighty four months. Put the information into formula properly. Finish this calculation. Give us the answer. Principal is three thousand five hundred fifty-five dollars sixty-two cents. Using calculator, here is how we operate. You also have alternative format to process this calculation. Example four. Find the present value of two thousand dollar during three years and eight months if money is worth eight percent. Compounded quarterly. Basic information: two thousand dollar as future value. Periodic interest rate: eight percent divided by four. Compounding periods: three years and eight months. We need to switch this time period into how many quarters? So we count them by months first. Three years give us thirty-six months. Plus eight months give us forty-four months. And each quarter there are three months, so we use forty-four months divided by three give us how many quarters? And here we'd rather not to finish this calculation as decimal, since it will be repeating forever. So we just keep the abstract fraction situation, make the number value exact. We don't lose anything. We can simply plug fraction into the formula. Negative forty-four over three. That's our exponent here. The answer is fourteen hundred ninety-five dollar eighteen seven cents. If we use calculator to manage this, we can get the answer in one time. Type all the information in together, exactly as the format show on the screen. Or you can manage this calculation in Excel very conveniently. Alternative format.
Whenever you have a operation or negative sign on the exponent, you must use bracket to hold the exponent. Example 5. Determine the principal that will accumulate to $2,387.18 from September 1st, 2012 to April 1st, 2016 at 5% compounded semi-annually. Clearly, $2,387.18 is a future value. Periodic interest rate 5% divided by 2 since it is compounded semi-annually. And then we need to count from September 1st to April 1st from 2012 to 2016. We have 43 months. 43 months we need to switch to half year. Each half year has 6 months. So 43 divided by 6 gives us how many half years. That's our compounding period. Keep that in mind. N represents compounding period. Total compounding periods. Put all the information in. Keep the fraction in the exponent. Finish the calculation from calculator or from Excel. Give us principal, $2,000. Alternative format. Example 6. A four-year non-interest bearing promissory note for $6,000 was dated August 31, 2014 and earned interest 6% compounded quarterly. Determine the proceeds for the note if it was discounted on October 31st. Here's a promissory note again. Make sure we understand the promissory note true value as the mature value. So four year non-interest bearing promissory note. That means $6,000 fixed value is also mature value. That is not including interest because no interest bearing on this note. Basic information $6,000 is future value. 6% divided by 4 is periodic interest rate, quarterly compounded. And we need to look for N from the trading time, discounted October 31st, 2015. So October 31st, 2015 is called the trading time. The promissory note was sold it out. So the trading time to mature time, how long? That's the time we needed. Total 4 years 48 months from october 31st 2015 to mature time october uh august 31st 2018 we have 34 months we switch this 34 months to quarters divided by three put the information in the formula give us the present value or proceeds or the price being discounted five thousand $68.38. Example 7. Determine the proceeds of a promissory note for $3,600 with interest at 6% compounded quarterly, issued September 1st, 2014, due on June 1st, 2020, and discounted on December 1st, 2016, at 8% compounded semi annually. So here is the chance we can see the whole process. Basic information, face value is present value, $3,600. For the note, interest compounded quarterly, 6% divided by 4 gives us periodic interest rate. For the term of the note, September 1st, 2014 until June 1st, 2020, give us 23 quarters in between. So we can calculate the material value first. Material value must be calculated. This is the true value of the promissory note. $5,070.16. And then we discount this material value to the trading time with the market interest rate 8% compounded semi-annually. So we are looking for present value now. 8% semi-annually, periodic interest rate, 8% divided by 2. Trading time December 1st, 2016 until mature time June 1st, 2020. We count how many half years. So that's a 3 and a half. Total 7 half years. Give us the answer about the price of the promissory note being discounted on December 1st, 2016 is $3,852.90. Again, keep
keep that in mind. The material value of a promissory note must be calculated. Then we can calculate the proceeds or price of the note before mature date from the material value. See you next time.